Uh, I am Kumar Swami. I work in lymphatic filariasis uh, for more than 30 years. My interests have been in clinical science, immunology, and more recently in the public health aspects of lymphatic filariasis. Uh, we have got good treatments that can kill the parasites, but uh, most people don't worry about their parasites. It's the big legs which bother them. Unfortunately, our treatments for the big legs are very basic in that we tell them to wash their legs, take care of the infections by using antibiotics or creams and then bandages. Uh, the ideal treatment would be something that prevents what we call acute attacks because those are the ones that bother the patients. It's not the big leg themselves. It is these attacks, what we call acute attacks, that make them feel really miserable because they can be in bed for three to four days and that means a lot to many families because they can't go to work, they can't earn their wages and they become solely dependent on their family for their support. So if these attacks, some of them could occur more than once a month in some individuals, but most of them experience at least two to three attacks a year. So if we could stop these attacks and along with that, if we can reduce the size of the legs, that would be very helpful. Odisha has traditionally been a very, you know, endemic area for filariasis. When I say endemic, we see a number of people who have this problem. They have big legs. In fact, the history of uh, lymphatic filariasis can be seen in one of the temples in Orissa, which is called the Konark Sun Temple. If you visit that, you will see statues of people with big legs and genitals also. Most people are conscious of their legs and in, if you go to the rural parts of India, there is a lot of stigma attached to these big legs. It could affect their work, it could affect their marriage prospects and it could affect their social dealings. So it is important that their legs also become smaller. What we need are good treatments that will help them to take care of their legs without such intense treatment and hopefully treatment that will reverse or stop the pathology or the condition from getting worse.